Department of Energy and, and, and uh, Secretary Chu's leadership. We are announcing roughly $8 billion in loan guarantees to break ground on the first new nuclear plant in our country in three decades. The first new nuclear power plant in nearly three decades. Well, all that show that during hard time of Kabul's game, we don't believe in government's brainwashed propaganda that if you're working on a nuclear power plant, you get cancer due to continuous exposure to radiation. Well, the thing is that the banana you're eating has as much radiation as working in a nuclear power plant for a year. Oh my god, I'm already exposed to radiation? I don't have to eat this anymore. Um, yeah. That wasn't the point I was trying to make. Okay, listen. Actually, a nuclear power plant is not as bad as what you thought it was. If you're willing to listen, I can tell you more about nuclear power plants. Of course I do. Please tell me I'm safe from the radiation. <laughs> you're safe from that. Alright, look. Most nuclear power plants originally had a nominal design lifetime of 25 to 40 years. However, over 70 reactors have been granted license renewals, which extend their operating lives from the original 40 out to 60 years. Really? So they have been giving out these real licenses, but are they just giving these licenses out, or are they actually improving the life of the reactors? Well, I'm glad you asked. These license extensions allow the 30-year mark to justify significant capital expenditure for replacement of worn equipment and outdated control system. The technical and economic feasibility of replacing major reactor components such as steam generators and PWRs and pressure tubes and can-do heavy water reactors has been demonstrated. The possibility of component replacement and license renewals extending the lifetimes of the existing plants are very attractive to utilities. But what about the terrorists? I understand that an uh, attack on nuclear power plant, all of which are guarded by private, private security forces hi hired by plants and supervised by the NRC, could not lead to a nuclear explosion. The danger is apparently that the attack can cause a meltdown or a fire which could you know, go into nearby cities. And don't these power plants contain materials that can fabricate the nuclear weapons? Like plutonium and highly enriched uranium, can't these be extracted from the nuclear plants? Mm, slow down, slow down, buddy. Yeah, you make some good points, but all right, these nuclear power plants uh, have systems that track all inward and outward transfers and the flow of material in any nuclear facility. This includes sampling and analysis for nuclear material, on-site inspections, review, and verification of operating measures. The nuclear energy industry is one of the nation's safest industries. It is protected by the multiple backup safety system, robust physical defense, and plant security forces with rigorous training. Since the September 11 terrorist attacks, the industry has continued to improve uh, safety systems to prepare for emerging threats, such as the impact of wide-body commercial airliners and cyber attacks. Hey, check out this video. Test using an F-4 Phantom jet. The U.S. government wanted to test what would happen if a plane crashed into the concrete walls of a nuclear power station. The jet sets off, bolted to a track to prevent takeoff. It's doing 500 miles an hour. Designed to move and absorb energy, did its job well. Wow. Why not use renewable energy sources, though? Don't nuclear power plants produce waste? And don't wind or hydraulic power sources produce enough energy for us? First of all, about the waste, we dump it all into Yucca Mountain, which is far from any civilized land. Second off, renewable energy does not provide enough energy for all the people. So, okay, like. For example, wind energy. We need three times the amount of the installed generations to meet the demand and the limited windy areas. And for solar energy, it's limited to southern areas of the U.S. and other uh, southern areas throughout the world. Currently, currently, the current technology for solar energy requires a small, a large amount of land, which generates a small amount of energy. And also. Hydroelectricity, that's a renewable source, but it's a very limited source since it depends on water elevation. And when a dam collapses, a lot of the fish die in that area. <laughs> so, back to nuclear power plants. The reliability of U.S. nuclear energy facilities is second to none. Nuclear energy has, has become the most reliable source of electricity with an average annual capacity factor of 91.5%. 
Okay. Just to put that into perspective, this means nuclear energy is being produced 91.5% of every day and night. In comparison, coal has an average capacity factor of 71% and wind 31%. Yeah. Even though nuclear energy has the highest capital cost for construction, it produces electricity at the second lowest cost to consumers, the lowest cost being gas combined cycles. And this is according to 2008 independent analysis by the Bradley Group. Well, thanks for the information. I like the nuclear reactors, man. You're welcome. I'm glad.